and welcome to Tea Time with Pastor Rosanna. I'm Dr. Rosanna Anderson, the pastor of the First Presbyterian Church of Springfield, Tennessee. And today we are celebrating because uh, today was my installation service. And the tea I'm drinking is called a Darjeeling tea. It's a black tea and Darjeeling tea comes from the foothills of the Himalayas in India. And it's really a classic black tea that you might be familiar with at restaurants. And uh, it's recommended that you drink it without adding milk to it. And it has some say notes of musket grape, which make it especially tasty. I would say that the tea for today is appropriate because during World War II, Black tea was the main tea that was available in uh, Europe. And in England, apparently, they had rationing of tea and only a certain amount was allowed per person per week, but it was black tea. And uh, the book I want to share with you about is this wonderful book, Breakfast with Bart Daily Devotions by Donald K. McKim. And he is a former seminary academic dean and professor and author and editor of numerous books of Reformed theology. And he happened to be the person who gave the charge to me as a pastor in the service. Well, this book is awesome because it brings forth daily devotions, starting with a quotation from Karl Barth. And you may know that Karl Barth was the most prolific and uh, influential Protestant theologian of the 20th century. He was born in 1886 and died in 1968. And so he lived through a lot of tumultuous times, including the First and Second World Wars. And he wrote The Church Dogmatics, a 13 volume series. So Karl Barth was brilliant and he has a way of identifying themes in scripture and then explaining them and sort of unpacking and unfolding the phrases and the meaning in a way that really brings light to what the message is. And Don McKim, what he does is he gives a quotation and then he describes how it relates to our life today. And so the book itself is divided into two parts, believing as a Christian and living as a Christian. And you get a feel for not only how smart uh, Karl Barth was, but also how it relates to our tumultuous times today. And there's a beautiful quotation that um, Don McKim reminds us, above all, we are free to rejoice. There is a, an element of joy in Bard's theology because he believes that God is in charge of everything. Well, I wanted to share with you um, this a, a beautiful tenet that he says, regard all as those for whom Christ died. And um, this is really meaningful. As we think about our differences, the ultimate thing is that Christ's love, God's love in Jesus Christ is for everyone. And for me, I thought, uh, you might relate to the times that we're living in as leading to anxiety. And here's one on page 93 that uh, Don McKim wrote about um, a quotation from Bart. So Bart wrote, Shall we be alive tomorrow? Prayer must take the place of anxiety and form the basis of work for tomorrow. The children of God are not anxious about work they work because they pray. Isn't that interesting? And here's what Don McKim says. Instead of worrying and being anxious about our lives and what tomorrow may or may not bring, our only hope and help is to entrust ourselves fully to God through prayer. Our life and work tomorrow cannot be based on what we can control because so much is beyond our control. Instead, we should entrust ourselves, our lives, and work to God. In prayer, 
we can trust that our work tomorrow is in God's hands. By giving over all things to God in prayer, our work will proceed as we live the lives God gives us today and tomorrow. That's good news. Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this word of hope and encouragement that you have given us. And we pray that for anyone who's feeling anxious, that you would help them and draw close to them and help us to be encouragers of one another during this unusual season. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that you're doing well and that you will have a happy and healthy week. Take care.